In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2010. First of all, open up a document where you want to apply the mail merger option. Go to the Mailing tab in the ribbon and click on the drop-down arrow below the Start Mail Merge option. From the many options that appear in the drop-down menu, click on the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard option. Once done, a mail merge pane opens up at the right-hand side of the page. The first step is to select the document type you are working on, such as letters, for example. You can start from the existing document or a template, or use the current document as it is. You can either select recipients from an existing list or type a new list. To create a new list, select the New List option. Click the Create button and the New Address List dialog box appears. Fill the required fields such as first name, last name, address line, city, state, and zip code, etc. Furthermore, to add another field in the list, click on the New Entry button and continue entering the required details. Once done, press OK and save the list by clicking on the Save button in the Save Address List window. Next up, write your letter, or use the content already present in the file as the basis. To add the recipient information, click on the location where you want to add the information, move the cursor towards the right side of the screen, and select any of the items such as address block, greeting line, electronic postage, etc. Once you click on any of these items, a dialog box will appear right in front of you. For the address box, you can put a check against certain options like company name, recipient name, and postal address, etc. This allows you to add as much detail as possible. After you are done entering information at appropriate places in the letter, you can preview how it will look to an individual recipient. You can preview for more than one recipient by pressing the Forward button under the Preview Results option. You can do further editing in individual letters or leave it as it is.